Well, folks, I didn't want to have to make this video about the GEPRC Mark IV. There is a design decision that GEPRC made in making this quad that I don't like. And I didn't mention it when I did my original review of this because I hoped that I was being too picky that there are so many good things to say about this quad that this one would not come back to bite me. But it has, and I am gonna tell you what it is. In fact, I'm gonna go with my gut, which is what I should have done in the first place, and say, I don't think anybody should make a flight controller with this particular feature. Here's what's happened. I've been bashing the crap out of this quad over the course of this week. It has held up very, very well. It is very well designed and very durable in so many ways. But yeah, the flight controller is not powering up, is it? Why could that be? Well, if I just push down on it a little bit, oh, now it works. Oh, fantastic. The problem is that if you look right here, there is a pin header that is connecting the flight controller to the ESC. And in my opinion, this is never, never a good idea because what happens, I'm gonna unplug the battery so I don't make a fire, but what happens is, especially if you've done as GEPRC did and soft mounted the entire stack, look how much play there is in the stack. Now that in and of itself is not a problem. And in fact, it can, uh, can add some shock absorption which can help prevent damage. But there is so much play in the stack. And do you see how the pins are kind of wiggling and moving around? And even if the stack is hard mounted, in my experience, that ends up getting damaged and getting a bad connection. Now, when this happened to me, I thought, well, I'll just tighten down these screws. I'll squeeze them together extra good and everything will be fine. But it didn't, it just didn't work. I was just flying and in the middle of a flight, the whole quadcopter just fell out of the air and lost power. So, I'm sorry to say, I, I wouldn't recommend buying any flight controller that is done this way. Especially, and I especially wouldn't recommend soft mounting the whole stack if you do it that way. At least if you do it this way, you should hard mount, soft mount the, maybe the ESC and the flight controller together, but hard mount between them so that these pins don't get as much damage as possible. I know that like there are some 20 millimeter stacks out there that stack this way and they, they, they kind of do okay, but especially the larger 30 millimeter stacks, it just doesn't seem like a good idea. And even the 20 millimeter ones, I still think it's not a great idea, but this just, I'm sorry, this is just a total deal breaker for this otherwise really, really excellent quad. Um, yeah. And I will now be going back and updating the original video with a link to this video to make sure that everybody knows what they're getting into. Um, I, really, I really wanted this to not happen, but I knew it would happen and it did happen. So there you go.